Say what? G'day, it's Webs, it's Alan here. I'm giving an update for how things are going this week. Easter's a very tough time for me at the moment this year. So, uh, look, I thank all the friends and family out there who have given much, much support for me uh, in the lead up to. And of course, those that have checked in today and made sure that I'm okay. Uh, one big, big shout out to a good friend of mine. She doesn't want to be named on camera, so I'll respect her wishes there. And uh, look, she invited me to come out with her family, spend Easter day with her and her family. And uh, we did some great things, you know, had a nice barbecue lunch, uh, swapped some Easter eggs, swapped some good stories. So I really had a great time and I thank you out there for uh, everything, you know, had a great day. Now, you probably noticed there's a bit of a serious tone to the video so far. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a test run first and foremost, so before I get into why uh, I've got a serious tone, uh, I wanted to try out my new room to see uh, how the video turns out or doesn't turn out. Obviously, my videos are an ongoing experiment. They have been since day one, and those that have followed me from the very, very start, where I've been on the streets and I was homeless, uh, right through to where I've got my unit, uh, and even to today, where I'm here in front of you, uh, I'm in a room of my house, and uh, to be honest with you, look, I've managed to f make together a little tripod thing for my phone at the moment, so I can film these videos without necessarily having them held out here where I'm walking around and people don't like the videos jumping up and down. Or uh, in this case, I'm not on my bed. So it's something a bit different where you guys may not be used to seeing me present myself in a standing position like this without walking around. Uh, and for me, it's certainly a bit uncomfortable, I will admit, you know, standing here, what do I do with my hands? Uh, do I just stand here and not move my hands or do I be an Italian type person and throw the hands around a fair bit? Sorry out there if uh, you're Italian and I'm stereotyping you guys, but uh, I guess overall for me, uh, look, it's all an experiment. has been since day one and uh, it's, it helps me refine the videos and make them better so that you've got something quality that you can watch and it's not all about me just gabbing on about useless stuff that has no relevance to you, me, or the universe overall. Now, reason for the serious tone in the video is, uh, I wanted to say it, uh, is I suffer depression. Uh, it's not easy to live with. Uh, look, it certainly is a hard thing. Now, some people say, look, suck it up, mate. You know, just be happy. You know, put those feelings in, in bed. You know, put them in a box. Get rid of them. Uh, it's not as easy as that. You know, a lot of people probably don't realise the magnitude or the gravity that depression actually has on people. And uh, sometimes depression can push people to the extremes where uh, they feel maybe they want to commit suicide and, and, and other things that aren't pleasant to those around us. Uh, one of the things that probably best explains depression overall, and look, it's suffered by millions of people worldwide, so it's not something unique to me or unique to guy down the street or whatnot. So you may be sitting at home and you may have depression yourself. Or uh, you may know a loved one that you feel, hey, look, maybe they really are depressed and uh, I should seek some help. Uh, look, I'll put some links down here uh, which just describe various bits of depression. Obviously, Beyond Blue, if you're in Australia, great cause. Uh, you know, support them where you can because they do a lot of great work around depression and anxiety. Uh, you've got Lifeline as an option as well, so you can give Lifeline a call on the number below. Uh, and of course, you can also call Men's Line if you're a bloke like myself. Uh, Like-minded blokes uh, out there that have been through exactly the same sorts of situations that you have. Uh, pick up the phone, have a chat to them. I've done so myself, and uh, look, I've, you know, it's helped me, helped me immensely through everything that I've gone through. Uh, you know, it's not easy uh, going through what I have. Uh, I don't want to go into it too much, but uh, overall, look, you're not alone. You just got to know that there's people out there that do support and love and care about you. If it's not your family and your friends, uh, like I've got very good family and friends, and I thank you all out there for, for being a support for me. Uh, but you've also got those resources as well. So look, you know, certainly uh, jump on the phone, jump on the web, have a look at what they've got to offer. Uh, because overall, look, it's your life. You only get one of that life. Uh, you know, it's not like life is something that. You know, Super Mario, for example, where you die and then all of a sudden you appear again at the front of the warp pipe. You know, you, you've got to, uh, you know, once life's gone, that's it. There's, there's no second chance. There's no, no time to 
come back from from death and, and, you know, maybe when the zombie apocalypse eventually happens, which they keep predicting on TV. But uh, until then, uh, no, the, the life you've got now is the life you have. So it's very precious and you must, uh, I guess, you know, do what you can. Uh, you know, if you can't help yourself, there's people around you that can help you. Uh, look, lovely video uh, by a guy named Matthew Johnstone uh, through the World Health Organization. They produced it. Uh, it's in relation to his books that he's released around what they call Black Dog. Now, Black Dog is all about people that suffer depression, basically have a black dog with them. And uh, everything they do in life revolves around the black dog. So, uh, you know, we see the world through the black dog. We basically feel the black dog. Everything's about the black dog. And, and it's a really great analogy for depression. So have a look at the video up in this description here, this little box that's appeared in the corner. Uh, overall, you know, it's a great little video for the World Health Organization. If you really think that uh, Matthew Johnstone's done a great job with uh, the illustrations of this, feel free to jump on his website, links below as well. And, uh, you know, throw him a few dollars, buy the book, you know. He himself, he's gone through uh, depression as well. So he has, as part of this, used the books as a way of it or a journey to outlet how he feels and I guess that's the same for these videos these videos that I do I know I seem happy and chirpy most times when when I do pop on these videos um, but it's my outlet it's the way I express how I'm feeling to you guys uh, it's the way I like to make myself feel better about myself because I'm not cooping the stuff or bottling it up inside where it can erupt later on uh, I'm actually basically getting out of my system sharing it with you guys so you guys know hey look Alan is one alive and well two uh, you know, he's doing well, he's kicking some tail, and that's the main thing, it's all about how I can, you know, show my friends and family that everything's okay, and, and those other people who have come along for the ride as part of the vlog, or other videos that I'm doing, uh, great, you know, I'd love to share my experiences with anyone and everyone, so if you're really feeling touched by what the video is all about today, uh, feel free to share it with a friend, uh, you know, don't be shy. And uh, if you like my videos overall, click the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I just want to put one last shout out. Look, uh, there's too many names, too many names I can that are coming in my head right now that I can mention. But you all know who you are uh, on Facebook. You all know who you are on Twitter. Uh, you all know who you are in general. Uh, very good friends and family of mine overall. Co-workers, um, ex-co-workers, colleagues, etc., etc., uh, your support has been fantastic, and I thank you. I thank you for everything you've done. So without you guys being there for me, I honestly don't know how I would have done it. That's it from me. I really thank you again for watching the video, and uh, look, I'll see you in a couple of days.